Oh, Oprah makes me dance. Welcome to Atlanta Tech Edge. I'm Kara Kinnear. Thank you so much for joining us this summer Sunday morning. Let's get started with some of the big stories happening in tech this week. Well, Alexa has a new job as a hotel concierge. Amazon introduced Alexa for Hospitality, a new program letting hotel chains place Amazon Echo devices in guest rooms. The Alexa experience will allow guests to do things like order room service, request housekeeping, or adjust room controls using an Echo in their room. Amazon said data from guests will be deleted daily. Alexa! Send up breakfast. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, Apple is teaming up with Oprah Winfrey, Saint O, in a multi-year deal to create original programming on its upcoming streaming service. Apple didn't specify whether Winfrey would appear in any of the shows, but she is expected to have an on-screen role as a host and interviewer. Though the dollar value of the deal has not been disclosed, Apple has reportedly committed $1 billion for original TV programs and movies over the course of the next year. You get a show! Paul, you get a show! Everyone's getting shows! So exciting. All right. In local news, a new virtual reality arcade is expanding to Atlanta. It's called The Void, and the location-based virtual reality experience company adds to Atlanta's expanding VR ecosystem. More VR arcades and bars around the city are starting to offer VR experiences, including iFly skydiving and the College Football Hall of Fame. Or you could just walk down to Peachtree Street and go to College Football Hall of Fame. Side note. Okay. Can playing video games be addictive? According to the World Health Organization, compulsively playing video games is now a diagnosable mental health condition. The hallmark of the gaming disorder is that playing games overtakes other desires. Mental health experts warn gaming can have the same addictive quality as substance abuse. Many psychologists think the data available is premature. More than two billion people worldwide regularly play video games. Hmm. All right, well, from video game addiction to smartphone addiction, social media, FOMO notifications, it's all nonstop, right? So now tech companies, good old tech companies, are developing features to help wean us off the very devices they made so commonplace. Liz McLaughlin explains. Apple is the latest tech company to prioritize digital health. We're announcing a comprehensive set of built-in features to help you limit distraction. New controls in iOS 12 allow users to monitor screen time and set time limits on apps. It comes less than a month after Google introduced time management tools and digital well-being features for Android users. You'll start to see features that if you turn your phone over, we see people do this at the dinner table a lot, it will silence all of your notifications, turn off all of your sounds. Earlier this year, Facebook also announced a well-being initiative, changing its news feed to help users better balance their time on and offline. It's a recent shift for Silicon Valley, where companies have been criticized for designing apps and software that aim to continually engage users without considering psychological cost. The way it's painted is that everyone's life is perfect um, and that you can start to feel like your life isn't. Tech companies are hoping these new digital health features can help users make better decisions about how much time they spend on devices. Tools to help curb FOMO and embrace JOMO, the joy of missing out. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. All right, now that you're all caught up on the news, let's catch you up on some tech events happening in Atlanta this week. With me is the one and only editor-in-chief of Hypopotamus.com, Holly Bailey. Hey. hey! Hi! I've missed you. Same, I know. This is good. Yes. Good to be back. I'm so happy that you're here. Let's <laughs> jump right in and look at the first event, which is Atlanta Startup Village at Atlanta Tech Village. Tell me what's going on there. I'll try to say that five times <laughs> right. fast. I know, it's really hard. Um, <laughs> so the first Monday of every month, Atlanta Startup Village brings together five startups and the whole community. They pitch their idea, their company, their product, um, get feedback from the audience and get practice pitching, which is going to be important down the line. Right. Perfect. Okay, yeah. I love that. I've been popping in at, at the village a lot lately. So it's yeah, fun. it's fun. Yes. All right. Okay, next, Digital Divas Lessons from Unexpected Places. Tell me more. So what this doesn't say is the speaker at this event, which is going to be really cool. She's Kat Cole. Um, she was CEO of Focus Brand. She's been all around Atlanta. She's just a big name and an awesome female executive, and she'll be sharing kind of her insights. All right, yeah. Holly, hashtag girl crush. We yeah. talked about it earlier. Okay, all right, last but not least, 
It takes a village graduation at Atlanta Tech Village. Tell me about that. Also at ATV. So ATV had their first pre-accelerator uh, this year, which was for women and underrepresented founders. Um, and they ran 11 companies through this program where they learned about marketing and business building and branding and investing and everything you need to know to run a company. And they're graduating, which is That's really exciting. awesome. Yeah. yeah, love that. All right, Holly, thank you so much. Some great events. We yeah. hope that you'll check them and all out. And we have yes, one more thing we want to plug. Okay. Yes. Um, so the Atlanta Startup Awards are also opening up. And this is like our big yearly annual event where startups, investors, everyone in the community get to nominate their favorite folks in the community to be recognized. All right, very cool. So you can okay. nominate them at atlantastartupawards.com. Okay, busy yeah. week like always for the tech community. Thanks so much, Holly. You can find out about these events and more on atlantatechedge.com or hypopotamus.com.